Hey there! So now that we have a solid relationship of a couple of YouTube videos, I can now confess to you the deepest, darkest secret that I have. And that is my extreme addiction to lipsticks. Now, it could be any lip product actually, it's not just lipsticks. From drugstore, Rimmel, Revlon, L'Oreal, to high-end Tom Ford, Dior, YSL, Chanel. I love all lip products. And I think this is because of my deficiency with all other areas of makeup. I can't contour my face. I can't do a perfect cat eye every single time. And I can't do an awesome cut crease, but I can smear color on my lips. I also feel that lip color is like the easiest way to change up your look because you can just change your color and totally change the whole vibe of your outfit. You can do a girly pink or you can do a mature lady red or pinup red. There's so many different options and even different colors within the same color. You know, a blood red, a brick red, a cherry red. You can do anything and it all just surrounds the fact that you smear a color on your lips. So I love lipsticks and I think I have a problem when it comes to buying and hoarding them because this vice goes hand in hand or direct conflict with my other vice. Lipstick vice, girl who hates reapplying her makeup vice. Basically, when I head out the door, I don't take a compact with me. I'm a shiny disco ball at the end of the night, but I don't care. I don't wanna carry that compact around. I only take a lip product with me to reapply under extreme circumstances. Sometimes I go out like this and I come back nude-lipped by the end of the night because I've just forgotten to reapply my lipstick, or I haven't gotten an opportunity to go to the bathroom and really pay attention to what I'm doing because you don't want to apply your lip product like in the back of an uber and just smear it all over your face lip glosses are another matter you can just do that whatever but lipsticks and liquid lipsticks you definitely want to pay attention to what you're doing so I generally tend to look for long wearing or tint in the name. So a lot of my go-to products are liquid to matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, or lip tints because you can put them on at the beginning of the day and you don't really have to actively think about reapplying them. But that doesn't diminish my love for cream lipsticks or any lipsticks that don't have long wearing in the name. I'm always looking for hacks or products to help extend the longevity of those lipsticks as well. And I found an interesting product last time when I went to Japan for from Rimmel, I believe this is the Asia-only release, and it is called the Magical Stay Lip Coat. What this is, is a little tube of clear lacquer. You get six grams of product here, and you squirt a little bit out onto your finger and apply it to your cream lipsticks, and it'll seal in that color for an extended period of time. Now, unlike the previous video I did where I reviewed a Tansan Kakume carbonated mud mask that had pictures in English translation, this only had pictures, so I understood the general gist of what to do with it, but I don't really know the specifics. I don't know how long this is actually supposed to make your lipstick last, if it's whole day or like for six hours. So I'm just gonna test this for you now so we can both learn a little bit more about the Magical Stay Lip Coat. I'm gonna do three tests on this guy, one with bare lips and one with lacquered lips. I'm gonna drink something, I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna have an old fashioned makeout sesh with my hands so we can see the difference. So let's get going on that test. I wanted to do this test on my creamiest, most luxurious lipsticks. So I wanted to introduce you to some of my favorite creme lipsticks and they are the YSL Rouge Volupte line and as you can see, I am really embarrassed with saying volupte because I looked it up like 50 times and practiced by myself like a psychopath saying it after the recording, but there's no way that I can say that word without sounding like a total dummy. So you'll have to bear with me and I'll apologize for my accent and I'll insert the clip right here of the correct pronunciation of it. Volupte. This is one coat of this and we're gonna see how it fares with the drinking test. So I just took a quick look in the mirror and I just wanted to show you what I'm dealing with after I've taken a bite of that donut and after I drank a little bit of water. The lipstick has kind of come away from the center of my mouth. So for the last test, I'm actually gonna be reapplying a layer so you can see the transfer and we'll 
go from there. Now that another coat of this lipstick has been reapplied, I'm gonna do the old fashioned makeout with my right hand. So now that the little kissing test is done, I'm going to reapply and put on a layer of the Rimmel Magical Stay top coat. So I have a little pea-sized amount on my ring finger and I'm just going to spread it over my lipstick. I would encourage anyone to use a lip brush if they're more comfortable, but I'm just gonna use my ring finger. It's a little bit like Vaseline and there's no strong scent to it. So I'll get a little bit closer to the camera and show you that even though it's like a clear whitish color, it goes on translucent and it doesn't alter the color of your existing lipstick at all. I went up close there, sorry if it was like majorly gross and you saw my mustache, but I'm just going to wait for this to dry. And when it's dry, I'll commence the testing. So now that the lacquer is dry, I'll do the same tests in the same order. So first up, drinking something. Next test, eating something. Oh, that's hard. So the third test, making out. So those were the three tests and honestly, I was really surprised at the efficacy of the Magical Stay lip coat. I will be testing the longevity later in the evening because I will be going out for dinner. So since I have this on my lips right now, I'll let you know how it does with reapplication and like how long it's actually supposed to be on your lips and stuff like that. But just looking at the difference of the hands, like this is without the lip coat and this is with the lip coat. You can see that my hand does have some lipstick marks on the side here. And I think that's because I just didn't apply the product very well on the edges of my lips. So if you run across this product and you're applying, I think using a finger is just fine. I still really did a good job and like it didn't come off on this cup. But if you want a more precise and accurate application, definitely use a lip brush. So I'll be checking in with you when I come back from dinner to let you know how this lasted. Hello. So as you can tell, I've gone out to dinner, I've come back, and I'm a big mega grease ball as I mentioned earlier in the video. But as you can see, the lacquer did not survive the oils in the meal. So I think the Magical Stay lip coat is definitely for someone who's like at a conference and only drinking stuff because up until the point where I got the food, my lipstick looked fine. But the second that oil of the chicken broke through the barrier of the lacquer, it was just gone. So. Take it as what you will. It's definitely a fun, unique product to try. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Why, hello. I didn't see you there. Do you like my new look? But actually, for serious, it's been five minutes and I'm kind of ready to get it off my face.